to reach a higher level of being, you must assume a higher concept of yourself. To become a different person, you must assume that new person that you wish to become before you can become that. If you will not imagine yourself as other than what you are, then you will remain exactly the same. Becoming a new you is about inventing a new you. And really, you can do it almost out of thin air to begin acting like a new you long before you become a new you. This is how it has to happen. You have to imagine your new you first and then take the steps to become that new you while you're acting as though you already are that new you. Does it make sense? It sounds simple. Is it easy? Mm -hmm. Maybe, yes, maybe no. There are steps involved. As long as you have a burning desire to change, that's the only way that change can happen and can be accommodated. In order to change and grow, we have to want to. But when you want to, it's also important to have tools and techniques and ideas. I always look back and think about what is it that makes people have the desire to change in the first place or to do something new or different or to get better or to change their career, their life, their relationship, um, their financial situation, their lifestyle. What really helps a person along is having the courage to start doing it. But first, before courage is needed, there has to be a desire for true change, doesn't there? Nobody can put that within you. Only you have the ability to put that inside of yourself. You know, a lot of people want to change and they talk about change or they talk about all kinds of things. Earning more money, losing weight, getting on a healthier path in life, having more time to themselves, or maybe wishing that they could have a better relationship than what they have, or traveling more. Whatever it is that you would like to have in this life, one thing is for certain. You first have to really want it bad enough, or nothing can happen. Remaining the same and remaining within the same concept of yourself is not going to change a thing. And really what we're talking about here is manifesting your desires in such a way that you understand the principles of actually manifesting something different in life. And the foundational part of all of manifesting comes from a future self already being in play in your mind, in your imagination, in order to bring about that future self or that future change or that future part of your life or that future reinvention of who you are, reinventing yourself again, a new reinvention, a new version of yourself. You have the ability and the chance to do this anytime you want. And let me speak for a moment to the young people, because I'm not where you are anymore. But I was a minute ago exactly where you are. And I'm here to tell you that 30 years flies by like the flash of a pan. I have no idea how I woke up, and I'm 62 years old, and I don't know how I got here so fast. If you're in your 20s and 30s and 40s and even 50s, you better get to it. This is what bugs me about people in general of all ages, all age groups. People act as though they have all the damn time in the world, but you don't have all the time in the world to dilly-dally around, being afraid of making a decision, being afraid of making a change, thinking, oh, I'll deal with it tomorrow, and then a year goes by and you've done nothing to make yourself better or to make your life better or to make a change that you really want to make but you're just too darn afraid to make it. Let me ask you this. What's your real problem with making that change? What is it? What are you so darn afraid of? Hard work? Laziness? Don't feel like it? Afraid? Just terrified to make a change? For what? I don't get it. I don't understand why people are afraid to make a change. That is not something I can relate to that much because I've lived my entire life making the changes that I want to make, when I want to make them, how I want to make them, for what reason I want to make them. That's just not something that I've allowed 
to occupy a lot of space in my personality, in my lifestyle, my friendships, my relationships, my money, anything. If I don't like where my life is at right now, I'm going to leave that part. I'm going to do something different. And I always have. As long as I am true to myself, I'm not out to please other people or to say things or not say things that I think are going to be acceptable or are going to make other people happy or not going to rock the boat or piss someone off or whatever it is. Because life is way too short to sacrifice your own God-given gifts and talents to waste on something mediocre or you dislike or you're just unhappy with. All came here for a purpose. Every single one of us been given something that is good to share with others. All of us have a gift, whatever that gift is. It's up to each of us to remember and find it in our lifetime. But only those of us who are energetic enough or are not afraid to look or are not afraid to rock the boat and make the changes we need to make with the years we've got left that satisfy our own soul. That is my message today. I thank you for being here and I hope you watch again. I'm Kate Wilder, and this is the Wilder Talk Show.